it's a new week. Jared and I are starting out the week at the Standard East Village. They so kindly have gifted me a few nights here. And we scheduled it in the same week as we're doing um, our engagement photos. I originally did my engagement photos in the summertime with my friend Carissa, who did an amazing job. I love the photos I took with her. I wouldn't change them for the world. But when I booked my wedding photographer, Ruby, I had no idea that her package also included an engagement photo shoot. So we're doing another one because it's I've already paid for it and I didn't even know. I'm gonna give you a little room tour right now. So excited about this bathtub. I love taking a bath. I will never do it in my own bathroom just because I'm freaked out by like New York City apartment bathrooms, but a hotel, I, it doesn't make sense because so many other people are using a bathtub here and not just me and Jared, but I don't know, something in my brain says like it's more clean than I could ever do. That's probably not the case, but it's just how my mind works. Um, so I'm in the bathroom now. They have this huge wardrobe and this part opens up to a ton of snacks and a cute little mini bar. We have a full length mirror, which I love. A second one, which is even better. Um, and then, and then Jared. The king size bed was necessary because as you can see, this dude is 6'2". So it has the best view. We're in the East Village, so I believe this is 2nd Avenue. Um, fantastic view of like Cooper Square. I love it. So I just filmed a little TikTok for my slick back bun. And honestly, I think it turned out really nicely. I have so many bobby pins in my hair right now. Probably like 15. And it's kind of painful, but my hair is so fine that... I can't like I just can't use gel it won't stick so I have to use about 15 to 20 bobby pins every single time I do my hair I remember when I was in prom and I had a lot more hair back then I had like a side thing that I saw like Selena Gomez she like wore a side pony or something to um not a side pony but like a low down to the side she wore it to some event and I wanted to emulate that. I think when I took out my hair for prom, I remember counting something like 111 bobby pins in my hair because my hair is so fine. It doesn't hold a curl, it doesn't hold hairspray. The only thing that seems to work is this and thank God because I use it on my eyebrows anyway. So <sighs> I just can't move or else something is going to stab my head. But I think it turned out all right. I just asked Jared, so should be fine. I just filmed a video about my hair and my makeup. So if you're interested in what that looks like, go to TikTok. Turn around, please. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing today. For the shoe, I'm wearing the Sir, the label dress that I got in the summer and I'm gonna wear it with my mock and mock heels that I got from The Real Real at a really good price. And then I have my Bottega earring dupes with this bangle I got from J. Crew yesterday, which I think looks really good because it just needed something on this side with the sleeve on this side. Um, but I haven't decided whether or not I'm gonna use the thumb hole. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. I think that's it. Let's show them what you're wearing. Go on. Is it? Well, are you going to say where it's from? <laughs> Not you did that. <laughs> you can do it. It's all from one place. <laughs> it's a corduroy suit. We thought it was black, it's but it's blue. For sure blue. But it's from J. Crew. And Everything's from J. Crew. The sweater is also J. Crew. Yeah. Are the socks J. Crew? Nope, they're two mismatched socks. <laughs> the only thing that's bugging me is that my heels have these like crystal silver details with the silver heel and i'm wearing all gold um but it's the only shoe that matches what can you do no one get mad at me please i almost just left and didn't put, even put my engagement ring on i took it off to do my hair because it always gets so sticky i would have literally lost my mind if i would have gotten to central park and forgotten to wear my engagement ring <laughs> I would have lost my mind. 
Okay, the jewel is up close. Bottega dupes. J. Crew bangle. Here are my rings, my engagement ring. This is a little pinky ring that I got from Awoke Vintage. They had like a little dish at the cash register and it's just one of those. My grandma and I have matching rings, this like little band. And then I have this ring with a K on it. I have no idea where that's from. So here is the look, head to toe. I think the shoes are fine. Hopefully you won't see them too, too much or you know, they'll just look like a cute little sparkle moment. But I'm so happy I waited till now to wear this dress because of the sleeve. It's gonna look so good in Central Park and on like the streets of New York. And it's long and I feel very comfortable. I'm so happy right now. There was a lot of traffic, so we have to take the subway. And I'm very uncomfortable. Not fun. <laughs> Just finished with Ruby. So fun. Had the best time. And now we're heading home. And um, yeah, <laughs> that's the update. <laughs> look like an egghead we just got home from our photo shoot with ruby it was so much fun i'll put a few teaser clips here okay cool she was amazing she's going to be our wedding photographer so i just feel so much more at ease knowing that she's going to be there on the most important day photographing both of us even jared was like i feel so comfortable with her she's made this process so easy so calming so we're very happy ruby you're amazing just came back quickly because um i needed to grab some things before tomorrow i'm doing a little shoot at the standard like i said we're doing a little staycation there i know it doesn't sound like i'm doing a staycation because i'm literally home right now but i just needed to grab some things um i was in a little bit of a frazzle this morning as i usually am before big events like a photo shoot and forgot all of my clothes that i wanted to wear in the city tomorrow because i'm never in manhattan if i don't have to go to manhattan i don't so i want to take advantage of that and you know film some looks film some tiktoks so i have a bunch of things that i want to pack up and bring with me tonight and actually jared and i are going to be spending the night apart which is really sad he's going to stay here with the cats feed them in the morning and then um i'm going to go there tonight i'm going to take a nice long bubble bath because there is nothing in this world i love more than a bubble bath. Oh, you know what I can do? I can bring your ma your um Epsom salt. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Quickly before I head back to the standard, I just have to show you guys this candle that I got from Revolve. I love candles. Like I have candles. Oh, I guess I could just show you like this. I have one, two, two, three, four, five candles right here. My favorite candle is from Anthropology, especially for the Christmas season. Um, I can't remember the name of it. Pine scent, like the classic Christmas scent is. And I think off the top of my noggin, I think it's like $48, which is a lot for a candle. So $48 for like a week's worth of a candle is just not worth it to me. So my friend told me about this candle from Revolve. It's right here and it smells the exact same. It's from a brand called Value Spa. Um, this is the Noble Fur Garland scent. And this was $26 and it's pretty significant. I've had it lit for maybe three minutes and my whole apartment smells like Christmas. I will link this in the description box and I will put it in my like to know it because your girl loves a deal. Hi, I was wondering if I could order room service. Can I do the burger? And can I add bacon? Fries, please. Um, and then a sparkling water. Thank you. Whew, I just ate that burger so fast, I'm out of breath. Now, it's time to run a bath. So, as soon as I got out of the bath, I laid down with a towel over my head, and I fell asleep. I didn't take off any of my makeup. I didn't even take out my contacts. So right now my contacts are literally like 
sandpaper in my eyes. <sighs> so I'm gonna get ready for bed and go to sleep. Woke up at seven, could not sleep. I don't know, something about like Jared wasn't here last night and um, something about just being in a new place. I can usually never fall asleep or stay asleep. I usually wake up really early, like on high alert. I don't know what that is but honestly like going to europe last summer alone did wonders for my hotel anxiety something about just like being in a new place like your mind wanders you know especially when you're alone but being in um europe last summer really i had no choice but to sleep you know what i mean i would be so tired from walking like thirty thousand steps in a day so going home at night going to the hotel like i was forced to go to sleep because i was so exhausted and i think it like rewired my brain to be like way more comfortable in a hotel setting i i slept fine last night i went to sleep fine i just woke up so early i've just been doing work all morning from bed as you can see and um i love that i'm actually editing my youtube like header right now let me know if you like this that's what it looks like I can't tell if it's cute or like clip art. Hi, thank you so much, guys. It's 9.38 and I have an event at 10.30, but the benefit of being in Manhattan is that my event is six blocks away. I would have had to have left my ha apartment 20 minutes ago in order to be here on time. I'm out of the shower, I'm running a little behind. I have like five minutes to make this video and then I have to leave for the first event of the day. But this is my outfit. I'm wearing this sweater from Rue Stick. It's my favorite chunky black sweater. It's got huge sleeves, it's very warm. I forgot a coat, it's kind of cold outside. So this is like acting as like a, a really big layer against the cold wind. And then these jeans, are from Revolve. If you can see, they've got like a martini and like, I don't know if that's like an old fashioned or something with some cherries down there. They're so cool. I follow this girl Haley on Instagram and she posted about them and then I bought them immediately. I was like, girl, send me the link. I need to buy them. Um, they're from Revolve from the brand uh, Fior, I'm gonna say this wrong, Fiorucci? Fiorucci, I don't know, it's an Italian brand. Um, and then I'm wearing my Ghani flats because I, you know, love to match <laughs> as much as I can. And I thought the red on the jeans would look really cute with this. Yeah, I'm gonna need these. That's a, that's a great dupe, I mean. Gorgeous. I'm dead over this sweater right now. So cute. Okay, so I just left the gifting suite. I got a few watches from Fossil, and I had my eye on that Michelle watch for so long for my birthday. I was gonna get it as a 30th birthday present, but now I'm even more inclined to do so after touching it. Back at the hotel, just finished up taking some photos, and Jared's here, and he's gonna take some of my stuff back home for me tonight. But now we're gonna go take some more photos before I have to head to some more events tonight. Um, so I wanted to show you my outfit. Hold on, this lighting is not it. I have my Margiela Varsity tee that I got from Shopbop with this blazer over top. I don't know where this is, what brand it is, but it is also from Shopbop. Some Levi's jeans and just my Adidas. But then I have the sweater I was wearing earlier and I'm just gonna toss it over my neck so it looks like a scarf, but um, you know, it's just my sweater. And then the same Vela Sunnies. I'm so stupid. I totally forgot I had an event at 2. It's like 1.45, so I'm walking through Soho right now, trying to sprint, get through all the people, and get there on time, because I am being late. But wow, is the lighting incredible right now. Jesus.
event number three of the day. It's all the way uptown. It's gonna take me forever, so walking to the subway. <laughs> time to get into bed. Happy Thursday. I'm sorry if it's a little loud in here. The oven is turning on, same with the air fryer, but we're making pizza. For everyone who saw my cheese TikTok about how much cheese we had, I'm sure you'll be delighted to know we have three open bags. Oh, for dinner, pizza night, I'm cooking a chicken breast squash with like um, a spicy barbecue sauce. It's gonna be delicious. I probably won't be able to fit all of these, but like I like to eat them afterwards. Like a grilled zucchini is the best. Have a stay in. What is that? It's yellow. It's uh, I think it was like from my seasoned chicken because it's like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I just. Pro fly. The hell? I think I got it. This is like an ideal amount of cheese, and then I just take the zucchini and kind of place it on like this. I literally have a dog. Get down. It looks so good. I cut this up and then eat it and then watch four hours of the great. It's Friday night. Jared and I are going to an event with Sunglass Hut and Swarovski. Happy Saturday. I am headed back into Manhattan again. I've been in Manhattan every single day this week and as someone who lives in Brooklyn and barely ever goes to Manhattan, I'm exhausted. But I'm going to get lunch with a friend so it's worth it. But I wanted to show you my outfit. This is what we're working with. I don't even know if you can see me. 501 jeans with my little loafers, J. Crew cashmere sweater. This jacket is from Vince. It's really good but I just found a dupe on levi's it's literally the same thing for way less um and then i'm wearing my gucci jackie and i put this little pearl necklace on it because i think that's just like a really fun added detail and i feel like all the girlies are wearing tons of charms <laughs> charm necklaces so that's what i've done um I think everyone's been buying these heart necklaces from shop heart and i've had mine for years so i feel a little ahead of the game I feel a little bit like a trendsetter i'm just kidding i don't consider myself a trendsetter happy sunday jared and i are going for a little stroll it's very cold my ears are cold but i think i'm gonna end the vlog here we're gonna go on a little date night later and uh, I will pick up the vlog tomorrow. I'll see you next week. <laughs>